Three and a half years ago, I had one of the most important martial arts tournaments in my life. Little did I know, my wife and my daughter would be shot and killed in a crossfire. I gave up fighting after I forfeited the tournament. The pain that lives within my heart is indescribable. A close friend of mine got word that the murders of my wife and my daughter were organized hits. These hits were organized by a drug lord who managed the opponent that I had to fight during my tournament. Now that same pain living within my heart turned into fire. Fire that burns deep in my soul. A fire that will burn deep into the soul of the people responsible. Responsible for taking the love and joy out of my life. Now I train. I train harder than ever. I know my destiny finally in life. I know that I have to work harder than ever if I want to come out of this alive. I could use a gun or a knife, bat, any type of weapon you could think of. But I want each and every one of them to feel the pain, everlasting pain. If I get killed in the process, I can be with my wife and my daughter once again. So this is all in my favor. I am the angel of death on a mission to send your soul to hell and let you reside there for all eternity. More than Wu Shu, Wing Chun, and Jiu Jitsu are my weapons of choice. And that comes with a lifetime supply of ammo. Lessons and examples were made out of us by our Seabok and our Shihan, installing even more discipline into us. More pain, more hurt. This is what fuels me every day. This is my fuel for revenge. I will avenge the death of my wife and my daughter even if it takes my own life in the process. I also had to endure the pain that I wish to inflict on others. If you hurt the ones that I love, I have no choice but to hurt you three times more. They did more than just hurt the ones I love. They took their lives away. So you can only imagine what's on my mind. You can only imagine what runs through my mind every day when I roll over and I see that picture of my wife. When I go into the bedroom that my daughter used to sleep in and I see that empty bed, you can only imagine what runs through my soul. My name is Joseph Shields, and revenge is my destiny.